Um, next one is with authorized users. And so uh, there is a component we'll touch on in a moment, which is called consumer criteria. That is, you know, which of these service bridge features, you know, the remote task definitions or catalog items go to which customers. Um, authorized user is more of like a uh, group or role-based access for individual users uh, to remote catalog items. So think about from now support example, you know, if they wanted to publish over service bridge and say, Hey, you can Zboot an instance, you know, that capability is only going to be to a very select few. You don't want to publish that. So anyone within the customer's uh, company uh, could go ahead and, and Zboot an instance. And so that's where authorized user uh, comes in where you create, you know, what's called personas, essentially these kind of uh, groupings of, of users. And then you can assign the users into those personas and, and those personas get assigned to the uh, catalog items. So you say that Zboot, you know, that it has uh, that Zboot catalog, uh, remote catalog item would be a, a persona of, you know, ServiceNow admin. So then only people, only authorized users that are underneath that um, ServiceNow admin persona would see that item and would be able to, to order it. And so authorized user essentially uh, synchronizes based to, it uh, should say correlates based off of the email address of what are the contacts, you know, within the provider instance and the users within the consumer instance, um, and then creates what is called this authorized user record. It's a, a light record with the first name, last name, and email that can then be used to assign uh, to these uh, different personas and through that to enable what users are able to order uh, particular remote catalog items. Uh, so this is really, I'd say, the uh, user um, or role-based access uh, for remote catalog items. Mm -hmm.